Well hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Don't really know why people say that. I mean, that's a bit strange, but anyway. If you're watching this video, I want to say thank you so much for sticking around because I know I'm not consistent with putting videos up and um, I promise I'm going to try and get better at that. I want to um, build my channel and so I'm going to try really hard to get out some good content for you. This video I'm just going to be trying a couple of new stuff that I've got over the last uh, couple of weeks um, and have a chat, a chat to you while I'm getting ready and talk to you about some new stuff and whatever and who knows this will get ready with me chit chat, I don't even know what this is. Get ready with me chit chat trying new stuff, dribbling, rubbish, video. Um, I've been wanting, I think, I'm hoping this is the right mascara, so um, this one came out and I saw a lot of YouTubers talk about it and it's the L'Oreal Paradise Mascara, but I have a feeling this is not the same one as the one that everyone was speaking about, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they were talking about how this is a drugstore drug store dupe for um, Better Than Sex Mascara, which is a mascara that I use all the time. When I think of drugstore, I think of cheaper than, you know your big brands but this mascara I bought from Priceline is $25 and that to me is not a cheap brand mascara so I don't know it looks like it's got the same kind of brush as the Too Faced Better Than Sex so we'll give that a go anyway we'll get started I'm still using my um, MAC Prep Oven Prime primer I'm nearly out of it so I have to get some more of that but I just bought a whole heap of MAC stuff I don't know why I didn't get any more well, I didn't even bring a mirror in here with me today, so I'm literally going to be looking in the camera doing my makeup. So I still use these Real Technique sponges, which are great, but you know, I buy these in a two pack. This is a really gross looking, but anyway, I buy these in a two pack and I always find one of the sponges are really spongy and the other one's like really dense. And I don't know why. Is that just me? Am I buying like faulty sponges every time I buy a sponge? I don't know. But anyway. Last night called um, Miss Shop A, I think it's called. It's an American website. Okay, I need to check this shit out. So I went onto the website, and practically everything on that website is a dollar. Dollar foundations, dollar concealers, dollar everything. Um, it is American dollars, but I think that. Once it um, converted into Australian dollars, it was like a dollar thirty-five product. So I thought I might do a haul video on that those products. So I bought, I think, pretty much a full face um, from that website. So when it arrives, we'll do a video and we'll see how good it is. Because, and let me tell you, if you know of an Australian site um, that has the same sort of thing let me know because I will quite happily order and try stuff from there because the postage to get this dollar pro these dollar products to me were, was almost half the cost of the products themselves I thought I'll buy it big and you know it's only a dollar I can get heaps and then I went to check out and it was like $30 postage and I went don't think so but yeah Anyway, so that'll be exciting. Can't wait for that to come. And I also purchased a couple of things off the BH Cosmetics website because they were having a sale. So I'll do that video when it all arrives. Anyway, so I've just pulled it on. But that foundation is definitely dewy. You can see a lot of shine on my face. So that's good. Which is funny because I'm probably just going to set it with powder anyway. Where's wrong with me? I use this powder all the time. So I'm just going to set under my eyes. 
we don't get no creases in those bags because they're old. Old as fuck. Sometimes I feel it. I just poke myself in the eye. So, the last week and a half, two weeks, I have been sick. I'm always bloody sick. We're always sick in this house. Um, but I had a sinus infection, which is always fun. And then um, over the weekend, that sinus infection has turned into teeth issues. So I don't know if you all know this, but I actually have a massive phobia when it comes to dentists. Um, the last time, well, not the last time, but one of the one time I went to the dentist. Um, my boyfriend at the time actually surprised me and met me there. And I'm glad he did because I walked out of the dentist and I passed out. I was that worked up about it. And I have never had a really good experience going to the dentist. Like it's always been extremely painful. Um, yeah, I guess I just haven't found a, a good dentist. So I get myself so worked up in an estate that um, yeah, I pass out. So that's fun. Um, but I've got an appointment to see the dentist not until the 25th of June. Um, but it's this tooth here, and basically, I'm pretty sure it's nerve pain. It's like anytime there's I drink, so anything cold, my whole face like it's I can't even I can't talk, I can't I just sit there and I can't explain it. I'm sure you've all had tooth problems, you know what I'm talking about, but it hurts. A lot so anyway that's coming up that's gonna be fun um, but I really gotta work on my anxiety about that because well not just about that my anxiety in general like you know people with anxiety know the struggle like it's literally so hard to get out of bed every morning and go to work or just filming this video today my anxiety about, you know, are people going to watch it? Are people going to actually enjoy it? I'm going to look like a fucking idiot. Why do I even care? Like, some days I don't. Sometimes I film videos and I'm like, yeah, whatever. If no one watches it, it's what, I've done it. It's up there. I don't care. And other days I'm, I'm really worried that people are just going to think, well, that's shit. Why am I going to, why would people want to watch this? You know what I mean? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm just dribbling a bit now. Anxiety is real. Let's just say it's real in my life. Okay, so I bought this. I've used it a few times and I'm, I think it's okay. This is a, excuse my dirty fingerprints. Makeup Design Mud. Oh, hello. <laughs> Makeup Design MUD. So it's mud makeup and this is a contour, defining contour and highlighting palette. So I actually don't use the highlight and I don't use this banana setting powder I find that the banana setting, banana setting powders on me are just yellow I think maybe because my skin's so fair but I do use I have been using this one for contour and this one for bronzing and I think it looks okay I think this one I'm not sure I really I do prefer my um, butter bronzer physicians formula butter bronzer I do prefer that one but I'm giving you stuff a go so I don't know if you know actually I think I have mentioned this in a previous video um, at Christmas time, I kind of went a little crazy with makeup and I bought a whole heap of um, especially eyeshadow palettes and got them all delivered at the same time and said to the kids, oh, this is your present to me. And I, I literally bought, what did I buy? A Huda, Be a Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette. I bought um, Laura Lee Los Angeles Cat's Pajamas palette. I bought a couple from Colourpop, I can't even remember now a couple anyway I had eyeshadow coming out the wazoo anyways so I made a promise to the kids that I would go on a six month ban and that was in December and it's now June and my ban is lifted and mama's gone crazy Laura Lee also has released another one the nudie patootie palette which I wasn't a bit uh, I don't know if I want to get because it's all nudes and I had a lot of nudes but every time I see somebody using that palette I want to buy it I don't know what it is I don't know if it's because I've got the other palette and I like it so much and I just think the formula is great on the eyeshadows or what it is, but I need to get it. I, I need to get it. The other one that's the other one that's just come out is um, Manny MUA Luna Beauty. He's released a Life's a Drag palette. 
that's coming, that's going straight in my basket. And, oh, Jaclyn Hill has released some more eyeshadows and I love Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, so. Yeah, what can I say? More eyeshadow palettes coming my way. Contour color there. It's quite powdery, like when you tap it, I don't know if you can see that, but a lot of dust does come up, but that's all good. And we're just gonna put that on. Define my cheekbones, baby. Oh shit, that's dark. Okay. doing makeup probably about two years ago now so I never used to wear makeup anywhere like I think not even mascara to work like I used to go to work every day bare faced and now I would not ever dream of that I don't leave the house really with no makeup on so yeah that's a bit, a bit of a backstory there um so I think so I work at a community centre and by the way, can I just say my job is fucking awesome. I love working there. I love the people that I work with. My boss is great and I'm not just saying that because I know she watches my videos. We work so well as a team, the whole lot of us. Um, I don't know. It's just a great dynamic and I couldn't imagine, I don't know, I just couldn't imagine working anywhere else and having that same friendship and connections that I do at the work I work at now. And yeah, so I was working there for a while and I didn't wear makeup and funny story actually, my girlfriend, a girl that started working there named Cherie, we were talking one day and we were talking about how old we were and stuff and she's like, oh, no way we're the same age and when did you gradu graduate school and all this sort of stuff? Turns out we went to the same high school, graduate, we were in the same year 12 together, graduated the same time and everything. When I look at pictures, I'm like, oh my God, yes, I know who you are, but at the time, I did not recognise her. She didn't recognise me. We didn't hang in the same crowds. Long story short, we reconnected at work and we're still good friends. And I think she was the one, she was the one who really got me interested in makeup. She, um, beautiful woman, she is. She came into work one day with this beautiful red lipstick on and I fell in love with it. And I bought my first liquid lipstick from Lime Crime and it was on, under her recommendation and what can I say? My best friend Kelly is a makeup artist. Um, she and I just started talking one day about makeup, I think. I can't remember. And I was like, oh, I've tried these like lip kit. I might have been a Kylie, might have been Kylie lip kits that I got. That would have been the first sort of lipsticks that I got after the Lime Chrome stuff. Um, because I was big on the Kardashians. Um and I think we were talking about them and then I mentioned Colourpop and how, because I've been watching YouTube videos and I've seen Colourpop and how affordable it was and but you can't get it here and she's like, yes you can. You jump on those websites and you buy those lipsticks. And I did. <laughs> Kelly, I think it's your fault that I spend so much on makeup, just saying. Anyway, so that's where my love of makeup started and I've really only been wearing full makeup for probably two years. I'm not a makeup artist, I don't claim to be. I'm self-taught, I watch YouTube tutorials, I am nowhere near as good as anybody that I watch. I, like, I'm not good at makeup at all. I put it on my face, I cover up, and I go. That's just the way it is.
what I come up with with all those new products. I'll let you know how they go. I know my eyeliner is shit, but whatevs. It is what it is. I'm not going anywhere today. Um, oh, my face is still wet. That's it for this video. I hope you had fun hanging out with me and maybe you got to learn a little bit about me today. I don't know. I enjoy doing these videos. I hope you guys enjoy watching them. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. in this freaking fairy floss bucket here oh. and this mirror sitting on top so I don't know how I was expecting that to work a lot during makeup the makeup process so I'm just gonna let that do all my little bit worse but this shirt keeps riding up motherfucker it's supposed to be off the shoulder I like the sexy shoulder Ooh. anyway thanks guys for watching and I'll see you all next time Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.